Hi, I'm Jonathan Cripple. Uh, I'm from South Pasadena, California, and um, I'm, uh, I've been a clown for uh, much of my life. In the past, clowning related more to rhythm and character and a, and a continual story. And today, I think that clowning relies more generally on an individual moment in the story. And if that story isn't there, it doesn't matter to a lot of, to a lot of the audience. And I think the audience, we do this for the audience. We don't do this for ourselves. But I think that we're missing the old style clowning. We're missing, the audience is missing so much of the story because the clowns have in some ways become lazy. Not to say that they're lazy talent, but that they're trained to do the trick and not to put the trick as part of the story. If a clown walks across the stage and trips over a box, it's more about the trip over the box now. And whereas before it was about the walk across the stage, how he approached the box, and we didn't know the box was going to be there, and then boom, he trips over the box and it's his reaction to it. And oh my God. And they still teach that, but they don't put the emphasis on it that they need to. And a lot of that was born in rhythm and music. It's, it's that sound of him walking across the stage is important. And the, the rhythm of the, his legs going up and down, if he's got a, fo a funny walk, that funny walk has a rhythm. And then that trip over the box breaks that rhythm. And we all learn that now, but the, so much importance is put onto the trip that it kind of gets lost for the audience. And, I, and I'm, I'm more involved in that, that storyline. And, and I've got a history in Commedia dell'arte, so. That's all story. <laughs>